Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're gonna to talk about getting help. So we did a skill builder video uh, just a little bit ago about how to get help with modeling and that sort of thing. And it was more of an advanced, you know, intermediate process of going to the forum or going to different places to ask people for help. There is an ability to reach out for help inside of SketchUp. It is specifically technical support. So if you're having a problem with your license or software, it gets you help there. And I wanted to take a look at that right now. All right, so here I am, I'm inside of SketchUp. I'm running SketchUp Pro right now. Um, to get to help, you're not gonna believe this, but it's under the help menu. If you click on help menu, there's a couple options here. The welcome to SketchUp brings up, of course, the, the welcome screen. This is the one you see at the beginning when you first open up SketchUp. Uh, there's also a help center icon or, or option, which will take you into the help center for SketchUp. So this is where if you're looking for like, uh, what does a button do or, you know, the kind of stuff we actually cover in these square one videos, you can you can find those in here by searching for it. You can actually go in and, you know, like, uh, how does the polygon tool work? You can go in and search for polygon, that sort of thing. Um, the other options we have under here, um, search SketchUp, of course, lets you go through and look for a specific term. We've talked about the search bar. You have the option of managing your licensing and then logging out here. We also have this contact us. This is the thing we're going to go to if we need help, a technical help with using SketchUp. So you can see here when I click this, it does bring up the support center. You can type in help.sketchup.com slash the two letter language uh, prefix and then contact support. This link will work if you can't get into SketchUp or something like that. It is available, you can click through to help from the main sketchup.com page as well. This is the idea of the, the level of help we can get when we're in, in this page. So customer support, like it says here, this is account and billing questions. So clarifying here, this is not how do I model or how do I use a tool? This is I purchased SketchUp and uh, haven't received my receipt or I can't log in to my account, that sort of thing. That's what I'm gonna click through here and uh, check and see if there's an automatic answer in the answer assistant or message if there's a billing question that, that can't be resolved in the answer assistant. That's that first level, that is customer support, that is issues about buying or retrieving your license, that sort of thing. Technical support, here's where we get into more here, I have questions about using the SketchUp. Do I have access to tools, that sort of thing? That's here under technical support. If I click on that, I have some links some available to me right at the beginning. I can get into the forum from here. I can ask the automatic assistant, but you see that messaging tech support is grayed out right now because I'm not signed in. This is something that is available to you if you have active subscription. So if you have a subscription, you have access to our help desk and you can message them and get answers to questions you have. You do have to line it, sign in with an active subscription to activate this link. All right, below there, we have a link specifically for educational customers. So if you are a school running SketchUp, uh, you're running SketchUp for schools, or you have a site license for, for a larger school, that sort of thing, this, or you're interested, you're not running SketchUp yet, but you want to. This is a way to get in touch with our EDU group and get answers to your education related uh, questions. This is not saying I want to learn about SketchUp. That's not what that education means. This is more like educational institutions. If you're running a classic license pre-subscription and you want to look up your information, you can do that by the classic license lookup. Classic licenses did require serial numbers and activation codes, whereas subscriptions just require you to log in with your email and password. And then finally, if you have a question about buying, if you're running on a demo version you want to purchase, uh, if you have a company that wants to purchase a bunch of licenses, that sort of thing, you can click on sales right here. And that will get you in to uh, talking directly to a salesperson. This right here is the direct connection to SketchUp. Like I said, there's a bunch of information in here that you can get into. If you really want to get into that, talking to somebody about using SketchUp, you do have to sign in 
with a valid subscription. So you have to log in with an email and password that is connected to an active subscription. So that is available to you. It's all right here. It comes, you can get right in there, like I said, from the help menu. Oh, here we go. Help menu, contact us. Uh, so if you have questions, that is the place to go. So this is not saying that if you're a beginner, you shouldn't do it at what we said in the square one on getting help. That is absolutely great. That was really focused on, um, I'm modeling something, I don't know how to model it. Our help desk is gonna do an amazing job taking, helping you square away your license, your subscription, uh, making sure you're up and running. If there's something not working, that's what they do. They do an amazing job. It's really hard for them to stay on top of every modeling technique that's out there in the entire world to model anything. So they're not gonna be the ones to go to to say, you know, I have such and such framing condition I need to model. I wanna model this thing for 3D printing. I want to create this car part. That's unfortunately, it's, it's too broad <laughs> of a set of topics and we don't have experts in every type of modeling there is available on our help, sub or our, our help desk. So they can help you get, get SketchUp up and running, get rid of any issues you have there. If you want, have the issues with actually modeling a specific thing, that's where we say go to the forum or check out YouTube videos, those other pieces from the skill builder. Hopefully that helps you out. If you've ever run into any issues where you're, you're bumping your head against getting SketchUp to run, that's what you need to do to get it running. And that is what we have the staff available to help you with. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. If you like these videos, do you have an idea for another Square One video? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.